last 10 invoices module. Now we have to write the module that displays the last 10 invoices by date so that the company can uh, view what were the last 10 invoices generated. We'll now create this module. We'll start coding for this one. The output will re resemble like this. That is last 10 invoices, report, invoice number, consignee, order date, product, amount. This is ordered by date descending. So we have to actually write code for this one. Uh, so we have to add, uh, if we see the scheme, then the scheme will be as simple as that when the user clicks this menu, last 10, when he clicks this one, he'll be taken, uh, uh, this will be trapped by an action method and the data will report will be passed to a view and that view will display the entire report. This means we have to now determine, uh, decide on what will be the name of the action method and to which controller it will go. So once we have the action method and the controller where it will go, we will query the database here and pass the report to this view and then we will add the view and that will complete this module. So our immediate uh, problem is to find out where to add this action method and what will be the name of the action method. The best guide is this last 10 action me uh, menu. We'll go to this menu and see what controller and what action we wrote there when we were preparing this menu partial. And from there we'll get the names of the controller and the action. Come to the solution explorer. ADM and menu. And here it is. Show last 10 invoices in the invoice controller. We have to add an action method by the name show last 10 invoices. So this is our invoice controller and towards the end we'll write the code for the action method. Here we'll write the code. We can start typing it. So this will be our controller uh, action method show last 10 invoices return view and we have to return a list of uh, order objects which will display in the table what are the fields that we need to display we can have a look at it here we have to show the invoice number this will be available in the TBL order order date amount these three will be available in the TBL order consignee will be from the navigation property for the TBL user and this will be product name will be from the navigation property for the TBL products so this means we need to have TBL product and TBL user also included in the TBL orders then it is order by descending on order date and taking the top 10 converting this to list return view list and then we'll have to add the view right click add view click enter and here we have to start typing the view code so first of all we'll have to add that model model 